Thank you. I always forget to wait for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, welcome to the uh, May 12, 2021 meeting of the Rotterdam Town Board. Um, Ms. Mark, would you please call the roll? Mr. Christo? Present. Mr. Gitarelli? Present. Mrs. Miller Herrera? Present. Mr. Signor? Present. And Mr. Tomazone? Present. Five present. Okay, Ms. Miller Herrera, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic, to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. So this evening we, we ended our agenda session at approximately 6.35 p.m. Uh, there was a, a motion during the agenda session to remove the resolution uh, declaring lead agency in connection with the adoption of a local law of the year 2021 to add to the code of the town of Rotterdam chapter 270 titled zoning article 32 entitled moratorium on short term rentals motion was made by Mr. Christou seconded by Ms. Miller Herrera and it was vo voted on uh, and um, passed. Um, and um, then at uh, approximately 707 PM we exited executive session or excuse me, uh, agenda meeting, not executive session, or agenda meeting uh, at uh, 7.07 p.m. with a motion by Mr. Christou and a second by Mr. Signor with all voting in, in favor to um, exit our agenda session. So under supervisor's report, I just have a, a few a few brief things. Um, first of all, this weekend, I know that uh, some of you are going to uh, join us. It's not on the agenda as, a, as an item, uh, but on uh, May 15th on Saturday at 2.30 p.m. at Tri-City, uh, BMX is having a, a, a ribbon cutting uh, memorial sign presentation and they're celebrating their 40th anniversary there on uh, Burdeck Street. That's at uh, 2 30 p.m. Um, also, uh, I, I'll wait for committee reports at the end. I'll ask some questions, a couple of board members. I know we have some other things going on. So I'd like to bring, bring those uh, items out as well. Uh, but um, we'll be You'll be seeing a, a news article at some point in the future. We, I don't have all the details yet, but we will be uh, moving to uh, reopen Town Hall on, uh, to the public uh, at least from 9 until 1 p.m., uh, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day, uh, June 1st, and uh, then subsequently you know, the Senior Center. And again, we're still working out some details and logistics because we still have to obviously maintain our COVID compliance, ensure that everyone is safe, and there's just a whole host of... of um, issues with that, you know, we have to have personnel there. We have to make sure that, um, that they are in a, in a, you know, that they have all the tools that they need to ensure COVID compliance by uh, people coming in and out of the, uh, out of our buildings. So there's just a, a lot of, a lot of planning that goes into this. It's not as simple as just saying, you know, put a mask on and walk into town hall and everything's fine. We can't, we can't do that. Um, no one's doing that. Then on June 9th, uh, we will be holding our town board meeting at the senior center uh, in person if you will, uh, we will also allow for remote access uh, for those who um, do, you know cannot join in person. Uh, the, the senior center just gives us more room to ensure um, social distancing, and um, so that'll be that'll be coming out as well. We'll have uh, put put that out in, in some form of a, a press release in the in the near future. Here, uh, we don't have any proclamations or presentations this evening. Uh, moving into our public hearing. Uh, this evening, Ms. Marco, would you please read the uh, public hearing? No, uh, sure. Public hearing one. Amend the code of the town of Rotterdam, chapter 266, vehicles and traffic, section 52, no parking at any time for the following streets. Bernard Street in both directions from Vinewood Avenue to Palma Avenue, north side of Remsen Street between Paul Avenue and Palma Avenue, north side of Lilac Street between Fern Avenue and Lawn Avenue, east side of Fern Avenue between Lilac Street and Tulip Street, north side of Astor Street between Fern Avenue and Evergreen Avenue. Fern Avenue, no parking here to corner. Remsen Street, Lilac Street, no parking here to corner. Lawn Avenue, Astor Street, no parking here to corner. Lawn Avenue, Fern Avenue, no parking here to corner. Tulip Street. Okay, anyone like to be heard on the public uh, hearing this evening, please, if you would, unmute yourself, state your name and address for the record, and you have approximately four minutes uh, to, uh, to address uh, public hearing one. Anyone for public hearing one this evening? 
Okay, anyone like to be heard on public hearing one this evening? Anyone like to be heard on public hearing one this evening? Okay, so public hearing one is, is to address, um, just so everyone knows that you know, the streets were read off here, but it has to do with parking around uh, where Rotterdam Pop Warner can access uh, the, the fields that they uh, lease from the, uh, uh, through the Rotterdam Corporate Park from the Gleasy Group. And um, so that, that's what that, res uh, that public hearing, excuse me, is about this evening. So anyone else, anyone like to be heard on public hearing one? Okay, I'm gonna declare public hearing one closed at this time. And we'll go into public comment privilege of the floor here again, if you would uh, unmute yourself, if you'd state your name and address for the record and to have approximately four minutes to uh, speak on whatever topic or concern you may have this evening. Anyone like to be heard under public comment privilege of the floor? Yes, Mr. Supervisor. Go ahead, sir. Can you hear, can you hear me, Steve? Yes, I can. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, just before the meeting started, I sent uh, all the board and the town clerk an email that uh, I had from uh, on the uh, roundabout from Corey Barringer uh, on Carmen Road. Uh, I happened to go out on Fort Hunter Road quite a bit, and what I discussed with him was that because the proximity of the Carmen Road roundabout and the one on Linear Street, um, the amount of traffic in that condensed area, it's going to be almost impossible, and I repeat, impossible to make a left-hand turn safely out of Fort Hunter Road. And he suggested, and you'll see the letter that I sent you, or the email, that the town should write a letter to that effect to the traffic individual, because Corey is the construction manager, not the traffic individual. And there is an attachment with that individual's name. And what's brought the situation to a head, I believe it was four or five years ago, they put that Dunkin' Donuts over there. And everybody tries to get into that Dunkin' Donuts, either coming out of Fort Hunter Road, cutting across the traffic, uh, making left-hand turns off of the Carmen Road, and it is very unsafe. And I would suggest in a letter you also say coming south on Carmen Road, there being no left-hand turn into Dunkin' Donuts, and that there's no left-hand turn out of Dunkin' Donuts. Because uh, believe me, when I tell you, I have seen so many fender benders over there, and it's a nightmare. So I would appreciate if the board, when they send this acceptance letter, that they send another letter asking the state to make those changes on the traffic flow. One last point. I heard the comments about allowing doubles, and I was in the transportation business for 37 years, and I'm telling you right now, you do not want doubles running from that exit over to Dunsville Road. It would be a 24-hour operation dropping and hooking trailers, and I'm sure that the neighbors when Gola put their entrance there, demanded that high wall be put in for sound noise. And I can tell you, you have no idea what you're doing if you support that resolution. It's going to be a nightmare for people in that area, not just for traffic, but for noise. And that's all I have to say. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Okay, anyone else this evening under public comment privilege of the floor? Anyone else this evening under public comment privilege of the floor? Yes, supervisor. Go ahead, sir. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Lamar. Yep, I can hear you. Yes, Larry Lamar, Town of Rotterdam, Highway Superintendent. I uh, sent in a legislative request 
uh, for uh, count for the paving bids for this year. Uh, has it made it to the town board meeting? I was wondering why it was held up. If I could get a comment on that. I mean, uh, the last paving bid cycle ran out. It was good for a one-year term for 2020 to 2021. Uh, I submitted a new bid packet to clarify some issues that I sent in an email because I seen the bid packet was on the draft agenda. So I sent an email out Monday asking, con you know, concerns of why it wasn't on there. And I made some clarifications why I submitted a new bid packet. Uh, I was wondering why I didn't make it to the town board meeting, especially when it comes to the paving of our streets. Residents like to see that happen as soon as possible. I like to see that bid packet be submitted so we could get the bids come in for the next year's cycle, which would be for the 2021-2022 uh, year cycle for paving. If you could uh, let me know what the problem was with that, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Just, uh, do any of the council members have anything that they would like to say there? Because I'm, I'm going to refrain at this point. I, I thought I'll, I was under the I'll speak to what I looked at. I, I, I thought there was a, a two-year agreement that we made last year. I'm, I'm I sorry, agree. I'm, okay. and our, I'm sorry, our, I didn't hear that. Let's go, let's, go, let's go one at a time, please. Yeah, I just I'm didn't hear that. I, I was under the understanding we, did a, we voted on a two-year agreement last year. And I agree with that. When I reviewed our meeting from that, uh, from when we awarded that bid, we were very clear that it was a two-year bid. Um, and the sign-off from the person who was awarded the bid indicated it was um, for 2020 through 2021. Um, so I, I'm of the belief that it's a two-year bid. Yeah, I, 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 I must Having said that, Mr. Supervisor, having said that, how do we address, say for example, the highway superintendent there were certain parts of the job that the bidder did that he was not satisfied with. How do you either A, get recourse or B, address them before the paving starts this year? How does well, that work? So, so I'm gonna say this to you, that would be news to me. And I don't wanna go through this here because if we go through this in, in, in our meeting here, we're gonna be talking about, we're gonna be saying things that are going to be very disruptive mm -hmm. to the town's business. I'm gonna say that much. I saw all the emails going back and forth. I also know about some other discussions that were had. Frankly, uh, my understanding is that the, the, the bid that was went out last year um, is uh, stretches into 2021. Uh, the only thing that I know, and you know, having been around here uh, for a while, is that, and I'll say it like this, is that we have had one issue after another uh, from every year with, uh, with bid paving and other bidding uh, that goes on. And more importantly, with the work uh, that that was um, measured or whatever. So I, I'm not, and I'm, I don't want to go into all of that tonight. The bottom line is that unless uh, the the company, which is a very reputable, excellent company that did our paving last year, uh, says that uh, the numbers the, that the economics don't work anymore for their pricing, they have the ability to pull out of that. As far as as my understanding of that contract. It, so, I so, so if sorry. I could finish, so sure. I apologize. Uh, unless, unless, unless I have something definitive there, and frankly, I'm going to be blunt. Um, uh, I think that people need to understand their position in ensuring that they're not working in a collusive manner in any way with anyone or trying to steer one thing or another, um, if you get my drift. So, so, you know, I think that the best thing to do here is to allow Ms. Greenwood and other professionals at the town hall to do what they need to do to ensure that we're doing things appropriately and above board. And that's all I'm gonna say at this point. I think that we have to know from Callanan uh, first what, what, what we need to do. That's number one. Number two, uh, Mr. Signor and I last year were out, uh, we, we uh, understood that there were some issues with some of the, um, uh, uh, I'll call it measurements and, uh, and depths uh, that, uh, that, that uh, some uh, public officials said was okay. But of course, if we want the job done pro properly, as we all say we do, and we want to ensure that 
when we're out there spending the taxpayers' dollars that we're putting the right uh, mix of blacktop on the road where it needs to go, that we're doing everything that we can to make sure that that road lasts more than a few years, uh, then, 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 um, then I think a lot more has to be done here. And, and I'm going to be honest. I, I am, I am, um, I'm very upset with, with some of the things that, that I, that I've been hearing and, uh, and I'll, and I'll make mention of those things at another time. Uh, right now, I think we need to hear from the uh, company that has an outstanding contract with us and whether or not we can move forward with them. If I can now interject in, in that, Steve. Sure, please do. Um, Again, I, I look at it just from an interpretation standpoint in, in the language in the contract. And this is not to do with who gets it, who doesn't get it. It's just the, answering a question that was posed to me, which was it basically says the bid is good for one year from the date of opening and that either side has the opportunity uh, in which to not, to, to not extend it a second year. That's what I was trying to bring to the board's attention. And I think- right. I think Mr. Lamora might have put the language word for word in one of his emails. And I think that was what gave the town and or Callahan, the, or Callahan, I think it is, uh, Callahan, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, um, either side the option to, to seek other bids. And that was my interpretation of it. Okay. So that's, that's, right. what I, that's all I'm bringing to the table with nothing more. I hear that. But if you looked at the, the pricing in the bid from last year, and you consider that everything regarding building and, uh, and, 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 and um, commodities that are used in blacktop have increased in, in, in price. If Callanan can, can, so we'll mention their name because they, it's public, they, that if, if, they, if they'll maintain that number, I don't see how uh, it, it'll come in lower, frankly. That's my opinion. I'm not questioning the, the cost and stuff. I'm, Okay. I'm just saying I'm, I, my interpretation so trying, of the language. Okay, so we're trying to go back out to bid for something we already have a contract for. Okay, I get it. Uh, right. well, see that? No, it was that, just that, a question, Mr. Okay. Okay. You know, we, we go out to bid for things we already have contracts for, but things we don't have contracts well, for, we want to go out to bid again. Well, well we, we, we technically, we may not have a contract because it only went from one year, the language says. Amazing. What, this, this bid is only good for one year from the date of opening of the bid package. Okay. So it doesn't say two years. It doesn't say anything more than that. So okay. that gives the opportunity for, and both sides have the, the opportunity to extend it. I'm not saying whether we should or should not honor numbers or everything else. I'm just telling you, I don't agree that we have a contract. That's oh, all. All right. That's, that's, that's all, all right. I'm saying is. So obviously it's not on, it's not on the agenda. Understood. Uh, we'll try to Understood. get it on the next agenda, but I think that just as importantly, I think that what has to happen here as well, is that you know as as we as we um, I, I I gotta stop I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do um, inform <clears throat> more here so um, okay so any anyone else uh, um, so do we, we know we if both, a completely both different sides, direction here do we know if both sides are agreeing to the to the extension do we do or do not know that he you guys keep talking about the general terms of the contract that you attach to every single contract on BidNet, but you're ignoring the actual physical contract that they signed, as well as the fact that you bid 200,000 square yards and the prices that you received were premised upon 200,000 square yards. In addition to that, you have a resolution that states that the contract is for a bid period through 2021. Um, so I'm certainly happy to, you know, write you a memo in relation to that. Um, you also have a 10-year paving plan um, that you paid for that would likely, you know, be a, a good idea to subsequently layer into, you know, any uh, highway agreement that this board may reach with the highway superintendent under 284 of the agreement. Okay. So, so. We don't we're, have- We're discussing town business during public comment privilege of the floor. I just want you to- right. know. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's do it at the end. If we can continue this discussion at the end of the meeting and let, let the public in on any other comments that they might have, I'm sorry. Anyone else under public comment privilege of the floor this evening? Anyone else under public comment privilege of the floor? Okay, we'll close public comment privilege of the floor, go into our resolutions. Ms. Marco, would you please read the first resolution? Mr. Supervisor, before okay. we go into the first resolution, sure, go ahead. I would like to make a motion 
to add a resolution to the end of the agenda, specifically, 100%. yeah, okay. specifically a resolution rejecting the bids relative to, hold on, I lost my page. To sewer seven extension two. So we don't think we're going to make that timetable. Is this is what you're telling me? That's my understanding. Okay. Okay. So we have a motion by Ms. Um, Ms. Miller Herrera uh, to um, reject the bids relative to sewer seven extension two. So we'll be going back out to bid again in probably our next meeting. Is that what we're is that what we're saying? Hopefully, something that I, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of aware of, I guess I'll say, but I, I, I thought we were moving in a direction because we would have enough time, but apparently we don't. Okay, so um, we have a, a motion by Ms. Miller Herrera to add that resolution, rejecting the bids. Anyone uh, second, please? I'll second. Second by Mr. Signor. So Ms. Markle, we're gonna add a resolution here a resolution rejecting bids relative uh, to sewer seven extension two. And we have a motion by Ms. Miller Herrera, second by Mr. Signor. Anyone else on the question? Okay, Ms. Marco, would you call the roll to add that resolution under consent? Mr. Christo? Yes. Mr. Gitarelli? Yes. Mrs. Miller Herrera? Yes. Mr. Signor? Yes. And Mr. Thomason? I want to say no, but I'm going to say yes. Uh, Five, yeah. yes. Okay. Okay, that must be a, a late. Uh, okay. So, um, so we have the additional resolution. So let's go into the resolutions now. I think we're good. Anyone else? Okay. Thank you, guys. Go ahead. A resolution appointing individuals to various seasonal summer positions at the Town of Rotterdam Parks Department. Okay. Um, I have. <laughs> I'll make the motion. Motion by Mr. Christie. Is there a second, please? I'll, I'll second. Oh. Sorry, Sam. Go ahead. Okay. Who, who seconded? I, I guess I beat Sam up, but politely okay. so. <laughs> Nor did. Okay. Anyone on the question? Okay, Ms. Marco, please call the roll. Oh, goodness. Mr. Christo? Yes. Mr. Gitarelli? Yes. Mrs. Miller Herrera? Yes. Mr. Signor? Yes. And Mr. Thomason? Yes. Five yes. Resolution passes. Uh, next resolution, please. A resolution authoring an agreement with the New York State Department of Transportation. Okay. I'll make the motion. Motion by Mr. Christou. Is there a second, please? Second. Okay. Second by Mr. Signor again. Anyone in the question? Okay, Steve, should that say authorizing? I mean, before we start getting- uh, either, either, either way. I okay, mean, all right, know, no problem, no problem. It's, it's, it's basically a- yeah. um, you know, it's, it's so it's used a, to the word authorizing, yeah, I guess. It's a no letter, big deal. Letter. Yeah. No big deal. It's a letter really, authoring is probably actually more relevant here. Okay. Yeah. Um, either way. So uh, call the roll, please. Mr. Christo? Yes. Mr. Gitarelli? Yes. Mrs. Miller Herrera? Yes. Mr. Signor? Yes. And Mr. Tomason? Yes. Five yes. Okay. Resolution passes. Okay. Next resolution has been uh, removed. Mm -hmm. the and, uh, a resolution, resolution. Oh, I'm sorry. A resolution awarding the bid for managed IT services and advanced engineering report. Can we have a motion, please? Is there I'll anyone? make the motion. Herrera is making a motion. Anyone second? Okay, I'll, I guess I'll second uh, the motion on the question. Um, 
Mr. Supervisor, as I had mentioned in the agenda meeting, um, you know, I, I can't in good conscience discount uh, Lieutenant Jeff Collins' uh, analysis on this. So I would I would like to um, I would like to uh, uh, amend this motion, awarding the uh, police department and court segment of this IT services to Jason Hovac, and the rest awarded to what I believe the recommended vendee is. I believe it's CB twenty. You can't do that. I'm not trying to be. You can't do that with the resolution. In that way, we already we have a motion. We have a motion on the floor for the resolution as is. And you can't, so you can't be amended. You can't, you can't change that. I mean, okay. I, I, the, 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 the way the resolution, the contract is done, the, 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 um, I, I don't know. Um, I, I apologize for not knowing that it could not. No, it's okay. Okay. I'm just saying, I, I'm, 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 I'm as frustrated as you are in, in this, in this whole situation, honestly. Uh, but, you know, I think that we, we leave uh, a lot of risk here um, by not moving forward with, uh, with the recommendation that's been made and to have uh, services that we need throughout the town. So. Um, unless uh, we're withdrawing our motions, I mean, uh, you know, give me some direction, folks, anyone? So, Ms. Marco, I think we just have to call the roll here. We have a motion by Ms. Miller Herrera and a second by myself. So, I think we just have to move ahead here. Mr. Cristo? Um, for reasons discussed, and, uh, you know, again, I'd be willing to meet, uh, you know, meet with uh, everybody involved uh, for further analysis and even call a special meeting to address this. But I have to vote no. Mr. Gitarelli? Uh, no. Mrs. Miller Herrera? Uh, I'm, I'm going to explain my vote. I'm not willing to leave the, the police department without IT services at this point, so I'm going to vote yes. Mr. Signor? I'm inclined. I understand Samantha Miller's position. I, I think I'm inclined to agree. Um, and I also respect everybody else's position on this. Um, if it's going to leave the courts and the police department that much longer out, and it's not to say that th I wish we could do what Evan suggested. I also appreciate the logistics sure. of it, but uh, I'm going to vote yes. And Mr. Thomas Ong. Yes. So there's three yes, two no. The resolution passes. Okay, so under consent agenda, uh, anyone would like to make a motion for the consent agenda? And then we have to have the motion to pass the consent agenda. Anyone? Mr. Supervisor, um, I make a motion that we um, that we uh, adopt the consent agenda as one vote. Okay, we have a motion by Mr. Christo. Is there a second, please? I'll second. Second by Mr. Gutarelli. Anyone on any of the resolutions here? We discussed during the agenda review. Okay, Ms. Marco, call the roll to pass uh, everything here as, an, as one consent. Mr. Christo? Yes. Mr. Gitarelli? Yes. Ms. Miller Herrera? Yes. Mr. Signor? Yes. And Mr. Tomazone? Yes. Five yes. Okay, now we'll move to uh, pass the consent agenda. May I please have a motion? I'll make move. a motion. Okay, a motion by Mr. Gitarelli. Is there a second by Mr. Signor? Yes. Okay, second by Mr. Signor to pass the consent agenda. Any question on any of the resolutions by anyone? Okay, Ms. Mark, would you call the roll again, please? Mr. Cristo? Yes. Mr. Gitarelli? Yes. Mrs. Miller Herrera? Yes. Mr. Signor? Yes. And Mr. Thomason? Yes. Five yes. Okay, so the consent agenda passes. Now under committee reports, if um, any of you have uh, anything that you want to uh, bring up this evening, please do. I'm just trying to find a spreadsheet. Just give me a moment. Okay. 
Well, I'd just like to, um, uh, um, if, if I could, um, uh, just mention a couple of things. I, 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 I believe that, um, you know, where, and Ms. Miller Herrera or Mr. Signor, if you could correct me, because I, I believe that's your committee, um, that, um, that because we are not, because the, well, not, not just because, but there's a lot of um, participants uh, that, that want, there are a lot of groups that will not be able to participate in the Memorial Day Parade. So it appears that, am I correct on that, Mr. Signor? So it appears that we are not going to have the Memorial Day Parade again this year. Well, that, that, we are that having make... Memorial Day services. I'm sorry, Steve, we are having Memorial Day services at services. Town Hall, I believe. Right. Yes, that I, yes, that I agree. Yeah, okay. And um, so, so you know, with that, um, it really bothers me because I, I always enjoy the parade, uh, especially the, um, uh, when um, people like Mr. Signor are marching with me and we, we have banter back and forth. It's one of my most uh, <laughs> memorable uh <laughs> events but uh but but i'm i'm, I'm sad to say that you got to get out more often i know i know I'm sorry. it just tells you that what covid's done what this year has done to me yeah so um so i i want to say though that I, I hope that um that you all will consider coming to town hall for the uh memorial day services though it it it, it, it can be a moving experience for, 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 for everyone. I, I really enjoy that as well. And I, I know that, you know, I speak for everyone here in that, um, in that, um, you know, it, 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 it honors those um, veterans who, you know, made the ultimate sacrifice. And, and, and it's something that I think we need to, we need to, to honor and we'll be there at town hall for that. But I would hope that we could get more, um, more attendance, especially this year. So I just put that out to, 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 to everyone. Um, and then also, I just want to bring you up to date on a couple of things. We, we, um, we are working uh, through a, a phased plan, if you will, for a lot of improvements to our town hall in particular. And so over the next uh, several meetings, you'll start to see you know, call for bids for different work like the roof and a bunch of other, a bunch of other um, items for um, for our buildings, and um, but as far as uh, uh, the uh, that is, so we're talking about roof replacement, some HVAC replacement, town hall, and um, and other renovations that we'll be working on floor to floor. Uh, we'll be talking about. Uh, you'll be seeing that some offices, not you know everyone, but some offices may be moving within town hall or. To the senior center for a period of time while we're while we're re, um, remodeling or revamping um, at town hall, uh, renovating different different uh, floors and offices. You know, obviously, the main thing we're trying to do, frankly, we're trying to get rid of all the carpets. You know, we're going just to the um, linoleum or, or tile, if you will, trying to get clean up everything. So there's a lot of work. It's um, but the roof is the main the main the main uh, if you will the, the major work the biggest cost. And we have quite a bit of money set aside for that. I think um, without going into it, I think we, we have almost enough to pay for that entire project already. Uh, so we won't be needing to um, go too far out for any of those additional uh, monies. <laughs> the other things I just want to bring up. So the um, uh, Sartoli uh, Ave, uh, Avenue there, we've you know, gone around with that project for a long time uh, and, and, and things got slowed down for us again this past year because of our situation. But uh, we'll be uh, tapping the, the, uh, the Kings Road um, main uh, line uh, to put the um, lateral in to get across the street to Sartoli uh, with a hydrant. And then from there, um, we intend to um, start the installation of the water line there sometime in early August. So that project is is moving moving ahead with our with our crew. Uh, we have uh, Sam Grant through uh, Assemblyman Santa Barbara, and uh, some other monies that we think we are going to be able to put together here from um, some other sources. So to help uh, get that line finished, let's see here. We 
are doing you know some some grounds work uh, exterior work and walkways work um, at the senior center that'll be over the next few months you'll start to see that as well just uh, looking at our schedule here that uh, we've been working on so just give me give me another moment here uh, and then we're still you know pr pr uh, proceeding with lock street there for that um, drainage work that's uh, done so um, the so on our water on our water side uh, may have a new tank is in a basically our is everything's being closed out there uh, so that's finished the coron uh, coronation building is near completion uh, the um, we're doing just a lot of a lot of restoration in, in and around the uh, pump stations and our water systems as well you know where our water is as well uh, other well, well field improvements at water three and water five. We've talked about those before. That's uh, still in design phase. So I wanted to bring you up to date on that. That's still in design phase. Uh, we did submit, as you know, the six well permit to the DEC uh, in, the, um, in the last winter, this past winter. So uh, now we're getting our funding strategies ready for, uh, for this year, next year for our, um, for our new well. Uh, then uh, on the fire training center, we, we got the quotes, I think, for the gate uh, there. Uh, there's some other public bidding that's going to have to be put out there for some of the other improvements um, and uh, waiting for some other um, materials there that I think that we did have those bids uh, approved last meeting or meeting before for stone and some other things. So we'll be able to order uh, through, through there to get some of that work done. And, um, and uh, again, uh, parks, you know, there's just ongoing work at the parks. And, and so we'll, we've got all the park uh, equipment that we uh, know uh, we needed is out that we, we, we did that last meeting or the meeting before last. So that's all out there. We'll be receiving that hopefully soon next uh, several weeks. We also, uh, the mulch for the playgrounds is, uh, is, being put on order right now that'll be out there hopefully we'll have that all done before uh the the kids are out of school uh, we ordered more garbage cans too because believe it or not mysteriously our garbage cans disappear from our parks <laughs> um, i don't know how to do anything about that except uh concrete some stuff in I, I i just don't know what to do there but you know maintenance is ongoing and that's the other thing too is that you know that that's always something that we we will always see and also our um our stage is, is ready. So our parks uh, department got our stage ready. Uh, there'll be some other uh, improvements that'll probably have to be made to that as well. Electrical and some other things. I think that, I think those are still out there, but the stage itself is, is ready uh, to be used. Uh, does anyone have anything else that they want to bring up? I uh, just wanted to give everybody kind of an update there on where we were on, on those items, but um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm hopeful of, especially on the town hall uh, renovations, you know, there's just a lot there. It's, it's going to be a lot of work. It's going to require a lot of patience from all of us because, you know, we'll have to move around. We'll have to maybe have, you know, some folks moving into the boardroom for a period of time and we'll be having our board meetings at senior center. I mean, we'll work all those logistics out. Beth is working on that too uh, with, with uh, Mickey. And, and so we'll get all that kind of squared up, but we'll be using our, 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 personnel as much as possible, um, you know, with moving and, but obviously we have to make sure that all the other things that we're doing in the town are being addressed, like that our parks are kept up and, you know, highway work is being completed. So we'll try to get as much uh, additional help uh, when we can um, from, from our own resources, but we may end up having to put some of those things out, get some pricing for, you know, moving and some other things like that too, just to, will depend on timing, but we'll, 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 uh, we'll address that when we, when we have to. Anyone else? I have a feeling that, that everyone's um, tired. Okay. I just want to echo what you said about the Memorial Day uh, service coming up. Hopefully everyone, well, no, as many people as, they, as, as uh, are desirable can uh, come out. It'd be nice to see people participating in this. Uh, maybe it's like a first step towards some normalcy. Mm -hmm. Steve, it's the 31st, I know, but what time? Uh, two, 
two thirty. Um, what was it, Steve? I, I, I haven't seen a thing yet, so I don't know. Saw something. I did. It was. Um, uh, I've got it at two thirty six, and it's the sixtieth annual. Thank so you. It has you know has has some special meaning. Mr. Supervisor, regarding the parade, I just want to state for the record that the last time I marched in the parade, I tripped over Ms. Miller Herrera's daughter's red wagon and uh, landed in the middle of Curry Road. So <laughs> I remember that, Evan. Yes. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, we we're going to get a wagon for you. This, we we're going to get a wagon for you. Actually, Charlotte's wagon, her old uh, wagon Charlotte. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. It was Violet's wagon. We were pulling it. She had things in it. And we were marching very well. And Somehow oh, okay. I bent over to grab some candy or something out of the thing that we we're throwing everybody. And next thing you know, I was laying flat on my uh, backside in the middle of Curry Road. Okay. That was a, yeah. All right. Anyone else? Nope. That's it. I have a quick question, Mr. Supervisor. You said we ordered uh, new garbage pails for, uh, for the parks. Did we get any recycle bins, by the way? Mm, I don't know if they ordered those too. I know we talked about that uh, with with the nurses, but um, but you know you know um, one one of the things I think you recognize is that um, is that we end up going into all of our parks and doing a lot of cleanup. You know when you know take 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 for example when we were down at uh, Kiwanis Park, you know how many how many bottles or wrappers or other things did you see that were just literally thrown down on the ground? when the garbage cans, you know, right yeah. there, a couple of feet away. Um, it's, you know, those, those things are unfortunate. And I say it like that, you know, we, 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 we have the garbage cans right there. The recycle bins, I, I don't know if people will just throw, you know, throw garbage in those too, but I think that we do need them, especially for the bottles and cans. Uh, uh, so yeah, it seems, it seems like to be more effective when they have the lid with the smaller they, opening on. They, they yeah. do. They, you're right on that. I just don't. I just don't know. The other part for me, though, in some of these locations, is that I think in the winter, depending on how where they are and what they're made out of, we may have to put them in because I've I addressed this with them before too. Is have them so that we can we can take them and store them for the winter. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, with the with the um, with the uh, water and this and the freezing and the thawing, they'll crack. They'll they'll they'll, they'll break. Uh, so it's just all those all those considerations. We're, and, and they're expensive. None of that stuff is like just a few dollars. It's 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 hundreds of dollars. They're expensive. So, yeah. So I, I think definitely a solution is needed. I, I but I, I do believe we have to we have to make sure it's something that we can put on a flatbed and take back to the parks department and leave on a flat until the next you know until the next year. Okay. Any anyone else? Uh, under committee reports or miscellaneous. Mr. Supervisor, I move to adjourn. Okay, Mr. Mr. Christu is moving to adjourn. Is there a second for adjournment? A second. Second by Mr. Signor. Anyone not wanting to adjourn? Okay, everyone who wants to adjourn signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, opposed? Okay, hearing no opposition to adjournment, I thank you all for your attention and your time this evening. And uh, see you later in the week. Thank you, everybody. Bye, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Good night. God bless you all.